In this video, we will solve a problem on money multiplier. The question is, if cash reserve ratio is increased from 8% to 10%, then money multiplier will be, so the options are being given us, will not change at all. Second option is, will fall from 12.5 to 10. Third option is, will increase from 8 to 10. And D option is, uh, will certainly increase, but by how much, we cannot predict. Okay, let us see which of these options is correct. So basically, what is our money multiplier? Money multiplier is equal to 1 upon the reserve ratio. Here it is cash reserve ratio. Okay, so there is an inverse relationship between money multiplier and, K, uh, you know, CRR. That is cash reserve ratio. That means the smaller this CRR is, the bigger will be our money multiplier. Okay, and you can also see if as this CRR gets bigger and bigger money multiplier gets smaller that means there will be less supply of money okay so the bigger this is um, the lesser will be the money multiplier okay so what we are being given initially let us say m naught is our initial money multiplier so which is equal to one upon initially what is our cash reserve ratio 0.8 so in place of crr i will write eight percent and eight percent can be written as 0 0.08 so this comes out to be 1 upon 8 upon 100. So our M initial money multiplier will be equal to 100 upon 8. So this is 8. 1s are 8. 8. 2s are 16. So this becomes 8. 5s are 40. So initially our money multiplier will be 12.5. Now we are being told that... Uh, it has increased from 8% to 10%. Let us say M prime denotes our new money multiplier, which will be equal to 1 upon the CRR. So CRR is actually 10% now. So it can be written as 0 0.1. So it is equal to 1 upon 1 upon 10. That means our new money multiplier will be equal to 10. Okay. And here we can see as the CRR has increased from 8% to 10%. Okay, money multiplier has decreased from 12.5 to 10. Okay, so there is an inverse, inverse relationship between they are, you know, inversely proportional to each other, the money multiplier and CRR. And by CRR, what we mean, it is simply the percentage of deposits required by the central bank to be held in reserves and not to lend out. So the correct option to this uh, will be this B option. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.